The July 17, 2012 Sheriff Arpaio News Conference was just what Arpaio promised. It was a bombshell, revealing several amazing truths. Number one, the birth certificate that Obama proffered to the nation as his legal proof of U.S. citizenship is a 100% forgery, an undeniable criminal offense. Number two, Hawaii has now been proven to be a 100% illegal birth certificate factory, thus opening a major national security breach to our nation. And number three, if Arpaio's findings are accurate, and if Obama cannot produce a legally verifiable birth document, that means that America now has a foreign national as commander-in-chief, having gained that office through criminal deceit. And it also means that as of now, the American media, Congress, and the federal courts are complicit in the whole affair. And as of now, America is no longer a constitutional republic. Washington Times columnist Jeffrey Cooner warned of the earthquake that could result. Quote, Sheriff Arpaio's findings threaten to plunge America into an unprecedented crisis. For if, and again I emphasize if, Cooner says, if Arpaio is correct, then Mr. Obama has perpetrated the most elaborate hoax in U.S. history. A fraudulent birth certificate would mean that Mr. Obama is ineligible to serve as commander-in-chief. His presidency would therefore be legally and constitutionally illegitimate, Cooner said. He went on to say, it would mean that he should be immediately removed from office, impeached. Moreover, every law and executive order passed under his administration would be null and void, Cooner wrote. The implications, Jeff Cooner said, are stunning. The logic is inexorable. Should the president's legal authority be deemed invalid, then everything resulting from that authority is also baseless. The Obama presidency would be overturned, Mr. Obama himself would be facing criminal charges and possible jail time for committing fraud. Mr. Cooner of the Washington Times gets it. Do you? What will you do? Will you post and repost and link and tweet this video? Will you email it? Will you send it to your congressman, your local officials? Will you pray? Will you vote? You see, it really is now up to we the people or America is over. It really is your choice now.